Celtics coach Joe Mazzulla flew onto the court to perfectly contest this Royce O'Neal jumper. I saw a guy going in to try to get a shot and he hadn't made one and I didn't want him to feel good about himself going to the bench. Gary asked me about that a month ago and that's the bench rule. Guys don't shoot shots in front of our bench to go back to their bench to feel good about themselves. If I'm going to ask the guys to contest, the staff's got to do the same. As unpredictable as he is, Missoula's instilled a guideline of unselfishness from all the way back in the preseason, stating back in October to Celtic reporter Abby Chin, quote, if we want to win, we all have to lose at something, and we're all willing to lose a bit of ourselves, and that is the goal. So that's the narrative, and I think our guys are open-minded enough to realize that if you want to win together, you have to lose individually at stuff. That's the route we're going to take, end quote. Following Ime Udoka's widely speculated indefinite suspension two years ago, Missoula was initially met with a ton of criticism from Celtic fans when taking on the job as interim head coach. Now, through nearly two full years as head coach for the 17-time NBA champions, Missoula continues to hold a firm lead for the highest winning percentage in league history among men in charge with at least 100 games coached. This year, Joe's coached Boston to the highest offensive rating by a team within a single season. Taken into consideration, and everything mentioned so far from a leadership and on-court standpoint, on top of the fact that Boston has the best record in the league by far, and Missoula is the obvious choice to win Coach of the Year. A breakdown of a historic offensive night, along with how Holiday and the Celtic defense neutralized a 10-plus game over 500 Phoenix attack in their recent W, is on its way. The Celtics' best record in the NBA by far, leading to them having clinched a playoff spot with 20% of the season left, has been fueled by the most underrated top player in the game of basketball today, five-time All-Star Jason Tatum. Despite this man fueling this powerhouse by leading the association's top dog at the moment in all of points, rebounds, and minutes per game, in the now staggering 15 Boston videos I've posted since last offseason, Tatum's barely been the main breakdown. Generally speaking, when you see trends topics about Jason on Twitter, it's mostly when people are either comparing him to another player or hating on him. Bottom line is, we are looking at the best player on the best team, who is by the way in the midst of turning up his game when it matters most. His efficiency this month is incredible. Same thing goes for Jalen Brown, who's been on record as stating that some of the stuff you could say about him in years past, you can't say about him anymore based off his improvements. Let's hope he's referring to that left hand. Since the All-Star break, Boston's maintained the second best record over an ongoing span. However, another bold JB statement would come following a 52-point beatdown of the Golden State Warriors without Chris Dapp's Porzingis. Brown would state, quote, We handle business and take care of it, but we don't do it arrogantly. We do it with humility. And it's a lot of respect for the Golden State Warriors, but we feel it's our time now, end quote. Failing to build off the momentum of such a proclamation, the Celtics would proceed to kick off a five game road trip by giving up a 22 point lead with just nine minutes remaining against a Cavaliers team without Donovan Mitchell. There were concerning lapses in the defensive IQ level from Chris Stapp's Porzingis against the Cavs, particularly defending in drop coverage. As soon as KP checked in for Cornette down the stretch, that's when Cleveland started to impose their will on the game, and it was precisely due to the lack of intensity and communication from Chris Stapp's. Chris Stapps was then outmuscled by reigning finals MVP Nikola Jokic in the post during a loss to the Denver Nuggets in the Mile High City a couple days later. To prepare for a potential Jokic matchup in the NBA Finals, Chris Stapps should consider focusing on boosting his upper body strength while he continues to recover from a hamstring injury that he's now missed four straight games with and has been missing games sporadically with all throughout the season. Other physically imposing centers he'll face in the playoffs also need to be handled as well, not just the Joker. So, along with getting comfortable in the movement of his hammy, Porzingis bulking up the slightest bit, working on his reactions to guard the backside and watching tape to improve as the low man anchor, is crucial for the Latvian to do. Otherwise, Chris Stapps is at serious risk of Horford taking his minutes, and don't just dismiss Luke Cornette, who's also been earning his keep with very solid play on a consistent basis. Without their blockbuster acquisition from last summer in KP for a fourth trade outing versus Phoenix, Boston made the most threes by any team in a game this season with 25 made triples. Isolation sauce from Tatum would record one of those deep range bombs in the early going, as JT would ISO KD with a tween hezzy moving jab, chaining into a step back under duress of a tough Slim Reaper closeout. Channeling his inner spicy P off the cornet ball screen, here Jason Hezzy's left and spins to his strong hands to shed Eubanks in the lane for the deuce. 
Credit Fast PP for the fast reach in to runway another MVP candidate bucket to cap off this sequence. 2 of 37 for the cooking leading scorer on the night in Juice, Jalen Brown, were manufactured by an elusive Crypto P pushing of the pace. Not the best lob pass, but the dunk contest runner up makes it work. Momentum cross to his left shows you the proclaimed improvements from Jalen could be legit as he gets downhill to that offhand to body off Royce, causing O'Neal to slap teammate Bull Bull in the grill, and Brown finishes, albeit going back to his right. The godfather Al Horford's going to tell Nurkic he ain't Jokic by intercepting this outlet, driving before finding the trailer lurking in JT, who passes out of a layup to instead find D. White for a three. However, it's a brick, but after Tatum collects the O board, he backtracks to the arc for another triple with Kevin closing out, as he did in the opening frame to close out the first half. Tatum then takes Durant off the dribble. This time in the left corner, with a couple tweens, one of which he fumbles, he proceeds to calmly leverage off another moving jab to transition into a fallaway, giving him just enough space to again make Durant a victim of his marksmanship. While they didn't have poor Zingis, the Celtics' other main 2023 offseason pickup in Drew Holiday was tied with Jason Tatum as a game-high plus 26. The man in ownership of the NBA's second-best defensive rating among point guards this season, only trailing Minnesota's Mike Mike Conley displayed an overwhelming ability to navigate on-ball screens, which was a backbone to Milwaukee's championship run three years ago. When you combine Drew's pesky screen navigation with his intensity guarding isolations, this man's evidently on track to be a first-team All-NBA defender for the fourth time in his accomplished career. He can clamp up the perimeter, but most valuable about Drew's defense is the man's versatility to also protect the paint as the low man, as we see how Holiday tracked the swing from Royce O'Neal, opting to begin a rotation onto Eubanks just as Booker releases his bounce entry. This puts Drew in position to deny his fellow Drew's attempt. Tatum gets over for a swiping contest to impact the second shot, and it's back-to-back -back forced misses. That said, you have to rebound better. Next, forced to give it up, Beal attempts a fake overhead and bounce pass to KD. But it's Holiday's hands up, follow the pass activity, garnering a clean steal that leads to a Tatum layup. Here, assisting the low man in Horford, Holiday anticipates this Beal duck in to perfection, and his Lightning McQueen quick hands are there to knock it loose just as Beal brings it down to enter his drive, proceeding to take it coast to coast for an off the dribble triple. Offensively, Holiday had 10 dimes and 0 turnovers, just the third time he's done that throughout his career, making him one of just 23 players who've done that in the 2023-24 season, according to StatMuse. Going back to Drew's fellow 2023 offseason acquisition, being the injured Chris Tapps Porzingis though, and I want to know what KP's key to making the Celtics better once he gets back is. Best answer gets next video's comment or shout out while competing to be one of five in position to win either a free jersey or shoe of their choosing. Today's shout out goes to Omar Hassan, who says extend Clay immediately. He'll play better and this team needs all the positive energy it can get. It is disrespectful that Clay hasn't gotten his bag yet. Pay him. Great take from Omar right there. Appreciate every answer. This was your boy G Flow, and I'll see you next video.